Yo boys, it's Dan. Welcome to the first Premier League video of the 2024-2025 season. Today we have prim my Premier League table predictions, but before we get into that, here's this. Boys, if you want a discount on your uh, energy, go and get my discount in the description, new Dan10 at checkout. Peace. Yes, boys, if you haven't gone and copped some of the energy, you've done 10 in the description and at checkout to save yourself 10% off. And they're also doing a, I think they're also doing some sort of deal as well. I don't know about that, but it's on, but I'm not sure what it is. Why. So, yeah, we're going to go from, from top to bottom, starting off with AFC Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth did do well last season, but they haven't they? Really I'm going to do this based off of based off of season so like three seasons so far. I haven't seen Bournemouth roughly this season three seasons, so I'm going to say that Bournemouth are going to be finished in thirteenth position. AFC Bournemouth will finish in thirteenth spot, and now we go to Arsenal. Now Arsenal came second last season in the Premier League. Can they repeat that feat again this season under Mikel Arteta? They've signed some new players. They've got them a new team. Pretty much they've sold some players as well. And I'm going to say Arsenal will come in, sec in third place. Arsenal in a Champions League position again. And now we go to Aston Villa. They have made a lot. They're in champ yes, they are in Champions League this season. So I don't know how that will fare for them. Will that will that will that hamper their form or will it improve their form? I don't actually know what will go what will happen with, with Aston Villa. But I'm gonna say they will be in sixth place. Aston Villa will take sixth spot in the Premier League this season. And now we go to Brentford who struggled last season who have now sold David White to Arsenal they struggled last season they will probably struggle again this season I'm putting Brentford in a lonely 15th spot for Brentford hmm. 15th for Brentford now we move to Brighton and Herbin, who had a below par season for Brighton if you remember they had a below par season last year a very below par season and I'm going to say Brighton will be the team slap bang in the middle and tenths per spot because they haven't made many, they have not made many adjustments. Uh, oh, they haven't made many adjustments to the season to to this to, to their team over the over this over the preseason. And now we go to Chelsea and a new manager in Enzo Moresca. This is he took Leicester up as you remember last season and uh, made a couple more acquisitions in the team. I think they can contest top four. I think they're gonna be in fifth spot. Chelsea will finish in fifth place this season, I think. And now we go to Crystal Palace. Now Crystal Palace are a team that played well in the um they were when they sacked Hodgson and got um Olivia or Olivia Gazner, who did very well with Gazner. And I'm gonna say Crystal Palace will be in fourteenth spot for Crystal Palace, baby. Crystal Palace will sit them themselves in in fourteenth spot. Now we go to, now we go to Everton. Under Sean Norris, they only just survived relegation this last season, but I think they will go down this season. I'm going to put them 
in in eighteenth. Sorry, any other sorry any Evertonians watching? There aren't many. Now we move to Fulham, and Fulham had again a good season last year under Marco Silva. They're not in any European stuff this season, but I do believe that they can do well. I'm going to go Fulham in ninth and ahead. And the head of Brighton and that, in that midfield battle, that, that midfield battle this season could be insanely tight. Now we go to the first newly promoted team in Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town back in the Premier League after 22 years away in the biggest, in the top flight of English football. Now, will they go straight back down? That is the key question on everyone's lips. I'm sad to say it, but I think they will. I think they might. They might. I'm going to put them in 16th place for Ipswich. I think they will survive, but it will be a tough one. And we go to Leicester City, who have weakened their team. They've sold Keenan Dewsbury Hall to Chelsea. They've let their manager go as well. But I don't think they're going to survive. I mean, they didn't survive last season. I'm going to think they'll win a there we are, there we are, team. I'm going to put Leicester in 19th spot to go straight back down again. Now we go to Un to Liverpool and Arna Slot Liverpool. Yes, you probably heard the news that Andre Arna Slot has taken charge of the Liverpool team, and he's looking good in free season. And I'm going to put Liverpool in second place to fight to fight. With the likes of Arsenal and Man City for the Premier League title, and now we go to now we go to the defending champions and Man City, and I'm gonna put Man City. You know where they're going, don't you? Take first place because they're at the moment they're this far too good. Man City in first, but Liverpool and Arsenal could be able to give them a tough go here, and in and we now we move to the other half of Manchester in Manchester United I want to say we'll come forth but I don't think we will because we've already we signed Lenny Euro and Joshua Zerchi Lenny Euro is injured for until mid until early November late December because he's missing, he's missing three months of the season thanks and Hoyland's injured for the first three weeks of the season so that's not the well, first four-ish weeks first three weeks so mid-September Holder will be back, so I'm gonna say we'll be hope. I mean, I want to say we'll come fourth, but I don't think we will because we've got Spurs there as well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go another seventh place. I'm gonna go another seventh for Man. It could be. It could be. It could be harder than that. I hope it. I hope it is like harder than that. I hope it is. I hope it is higher. Hmm. I hope it is harder than that. And there we go to Newcastle United, who had a good season last season. But I don't think they're going to do well. They missed out on you because we tonight had won the FA Cup. And I'm going to say Newcastle will be in 8th spot. They have signed some good players. There was Hall from Chelsea signed as well. Some good players. Now we move to Nottingham Forest. Who are one of these teams who do not perform well away from home. They only just survived last season. And they're, only going to, and they're just going to survive again this season. Nottingham Forest are going in 17th position, 17th place for well, Nottingham Forest. We're down to our last four teams of the season. And we're going to start off with Southampton, who came up and are going up the stone panel the floor. And we're going straight back down in 20th and last spot. Under. Under. Who's. Under. Uh, under Martin Russell, Ma Russell, Ma oh, no, under Russell Martin is a uh, happening coach at the moment. I don't think they're doing very well, and I'm and yeah, and we have three teams left. Next one is Tottenham Hotspur, who are going to be in fourth. Tottenham Hotspur in in uh, and Postecoglou's second season are looking very, very strong in pre season. They've got a good team. They're making signing, which is what we want from Spurs. And now we go to West Ham, who are a very dark horse this season. They've signed some good players. Nicholas Falkland's gone there. Apparently, some of has gone there. There's some gay got a good team. But I think that too many good players and too many bad players will put them in 11th spot. 
which leaves one team and one spot left, which is Wolves, and they will go into 12th spot. Wolves are going in 12th, and that will bring the Premier League season prediction, table prediction, to an end. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you lot in a week's time for the start of the 2024 Premier League prediction series. Yes, it is back for another year with this time with better and bigger step guests, more predictions, more points on this year, and that will be all coming up in the next video. Until then, boys. Peace.